Pisces, what is happening? Welcome to your energy update. I'm so excited to be here with you guys because I haven't done a video for you guys in a little minute. Um, since last time I got a little puppy. Hold on, I'm gonna show you because he's right here under my feet. Come here, let, let's show the world you. This is Kobe. Relax, Bubba. Look at Kobe. Mm, mm, Mama's Kobe. Okay, I'll let you down. I'll let you down. I'll let you down. So that's Kobe. That's Kobe. I got him in cancer season. Kobe is a Taurus. He was born in April 26. But Pisces, I want to see what is happening with you. And so we're in cancer season. Listen, the cancer new moon was a freaking doozy. The next day I had like a big, huge headache. And then the day after that, I felt phenomenal. Yesterday, I felt phenomenal. So a lot of clearing going on. You know, give yourself the time to assimilate your emotions. So I want to get with these cards. What is it that we're supposed to be doing, doing during this cancer season? What is it that we're supposed to be doing? What's the most productive thing that we can be doing during this cancer season right now? And when I did a pre-shuffle yesterday, I got um, gratitude and thanks and rejuvenation and healing. So during this time, it's very important to be grateful so you can conjure up those emotions and therefore be able to use it as a catalyst. But let's see, what's the most productive energy that we can be embodying during this cancer season at this time? What is the most productive energy that Pisces can be embodying? Wow, this is the same card that came out yesterday, gratitude and thanks. So it's a confirmation, gratitude and thanks, right? Let yourself um, flow in, in effortless energy and ease, okay, and fun and let that transform Okay, with all these butterflies. So you have to conjure up that energy with your emotions. Feeling gratitude. It can feel like a lot of things, um, you know, could be changing in your environment. And a lot of things maybe have closed out and new ones are coming. So it's important to not dwell in the past, but to give thanks. Flowers could be of special importance for you. Fill your home with flowers, with that lighthearted energy. Do some spring cleaning, some summer cleaning. What else? What energy? What's the best energy that a Pisces can embody right now? Toby. Kobe, let, let, let go, let go, Kobe. Jesus, Kobe, Kobe, his name is Kobe, Kobe, he's such a good boy. All right, what's the best energy that we can embody right now? What's the best energy that we can embody right now? What's the best energy that we can embody right now? Sun and the stars, sun and the stars. I think that we have to give a lot of thanks because a lot of us are aware of this transformation that's happening right caused by all of these energies in the sky these solar flares you're now understanding a lot more than ever the intelligence of the universe okay and you're thankful for even the challenging times that you have been through right but the strength and the good things and the positives that you gain from that so i feel here that you're looking up with more inspiration with more motivation with more faith than ever okay and that you're thankful for that affirmations for positive change okay a lot of change is happening in your surrounding and again these are two cards of affirmations of positive change and gratitude and thanks to keep your vibration high, okay? Especially, you know, we're Pisces and in Cancer season, it's it's watery, right? We could feel like it's taken us for a loop, but Pisces, make sure to keep your vibration high. You've learned a lot. The most important way how to do that is keep yourself grounded. One more, one more, one more. Animals could be a significance to you. Speak your mind. Speak your mind. I feel here that there's an opportunity for growth in a relationship with someone, okay, for positive change, but it's gonna take you opening up and, op you know, opening up to that person, allowing more of that lighthearted energy here. All right, let's get one more. One more and we're gonna switch decks. What's coming up for Pisces? What's coming up for Pisces? What's coming up for Pisces? Healing waters. I think this was the one that came yesterday. Healing waters. Tears of joy and sadness and grounding and center, okay? So yes, we've closed out a cycle. It was a challenging cycle. You know, it's bittersweet, a lot of sad, but a lot of good is coming out from it. And now it's a time to just cleanse yourself with this water and allow yourself the opportunity to be in this energy to move forward, to expand, right? But to do so, you have to be in a lighthearted energy. You have to let go of the sadness 
and embrace the gratitude from whatever that situation gave you, okay? Very important. So don't dwell on the past because you're going to manifest more of that. So let's see. What's coming in for Pisces? Three cards. Three cards. What's coming in for Pisces? What's coming in for Pisces? What's coming in for Pisces? What is coming in for Pisces? Clear and concise messages for my Pisces friends. Clear and concise messages for my Pisces friends. What? Stab it. Page of Cups and Ace of Wands. Okay, so during this cancer season, it is a time for us to get creative. You know, water energy here, lighthearted energy. This is almost a cancer card. Hey, you stab it. Cancer card. Um, a lot of created, a creative energy. What happens with the page of cups so that it isn't sustainable sometimes. Sometimes we get these creative flares, but don't have the energy to back it up and continue to, um, you know, to have the drive and the motivation to move it forward. So you're getting inspiration, you're healing. Don't be too hard on yourself and wanting to like implement crazy stuff, right? This is the time to just be in gratitude and thanks. Let's see here. You might feel like you don't have as much energy, but you're stirring up a lot of creativity, all right? What's coming up here for Pisces? What's coming up here for Pisces? Clear and concise messages from my Pisces friends. Clear and concise messages from my Pisces friends. Yeah, you could feel, and this kind of came out in the reverse and then kind of went like this. You could feel like there's some sort of slowdown at this time, okay? Because we're wanting to get quiet so you can do some healing, right? This is how I see when we're in action, when we're in motion, that's actually not the energy of manifestation. That when you slow down in your presence and there's all this opportunity in this void, that is really the, the energy of creation. That's when slowing down does. It allows you to create. When you're in action, you're just acting out what you created in that void when you were, when you were, um, when there was a slowdown. So these slowdowns, I, I also feel like you're learning to view them in a different way and view them as potential. Nothing is bad, okay? It's an opportunity to realign so you can move forward and take action in a more aligned way here. So this slowdown, if you feel like, hey, listen, I don't have the energy, I don't feel motivated, I just want to be home. Yes, Cancer wants to retreat into the shell. Make sure that... <laughs> I just fed him, okay? Like, he just acts like he's starving. But, um... Kobe, Kobe. <sighs> but these slowdowns are going to help you move forward in a more focused way, right? We're doing some healing, some childhood healing. Let yourself embrace that ease. If you're trying to do, 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 do and stay busy to overcompensate for you not addressing the things that are coming up for you, that's going to be a problem moving forward. So the, the better that you can address these things and get more clarity on them the better it's going to be for you kobiachi kobe kobe you hungry little boy i just fed you sit your booty down we we fight all day long i mean that's just what we do and he's seeing me talk to myself for the first time and he finds it really really odd all right what's coming up for pisces What's coming up for Pisces? Ooh, Knight of Wands. Energy, okay. So I feel like this Cancer season is going to spark some inspiration in you, okay? It's going to light a fire under your butt. This is what the slowdown is. You know, oh, um, Queen of Pentacles. Okay, so if you feel like maybe you've been worried about your money in the past month, like, oh, I haven't been as productive, da, da, da. Like, those times of getting quiet only breed times of wanting to get back on it, okay? And that's what's coming up here for you. So let's see, what's coming up? What's coming up for Pisces? What's coming up for the rest um, of this cancer season for Pisces? And then I wanna get specifically in love. What's coming up for the rest of this season for Pisces? Wow, Ascendant, Outlook and Allowing. So I feel here, Ascendant, it's very interesting because my Ascendant is in Cancer. And so I feel here that you're viewing the world in a completely different way. Your foundation is changing. You're allowing the flow. You're flowing with the universal energies, okay? I feel like your whole expression, the way you express yourself, the way you come off, your role, your attitude, your point of view, your body image for a lot of you, major, your aura, like everything is transforming and you're allowing this transformation okay i'm getting goosebumps by the way so i feel like there is this major transformation you see it in yourself the way you come across the people maybe you've elevated in your work okay i see this up uh, people are viewing you 
as you know getting to a different level in worth a lot of people in, are seeing you in maturity wise it's like you're, you've matured and grown up in some sense and your view of life is changing all right and this cancer season is going to be especially important to continue to nurture that right if you sit with your emotions if you sit with this energy there's a lot of creativity here to move forward with it and the more that you're going to be able to allow a new outlook to come through for you okay what's what's coming in here for pisces during this cancer season fourth house yes cancer is is the home okay so maybe you know we're clearing a lot of childhood traumas i can attest to myself that maybe um in other cancer seasons i've gotten more imbalanced um you know haven't been able to maintain balance because it's been so watery and trying to keep but uh, you know, you, you're maintaining your routines, your your habits, okay? Um, your shelter, your self-care, all right? Your, your family life, it's changing. Maybe a lot of you had some issues, some chaos in regards to your family, your foundation, and that's changing for you, okay? You're becoming firmer, more practical, more um, aligned here with your grounding energy maybe before you guys were too flighty now you're learning to really ground yourself and that's what's changing your whole perspective okay because you're learning how to rest up okay before maybe you were doing 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 now you're more intentional you're learning to really rest and conserve your energy and therefore you're more potent when you need to use it and then one more chiron healing absolutely there's a lot of healing happening, whether you see it or not, in regards to your self-care. Most important. And then family life, childhood issues. That's what's happening here. So by the end of cancer season, if you feel unmotivated, you're definitely going to... Um, it's going to spark a fire in you if you let yourself feel these emotions, all right? So let's see. What's coming in for you in love? What's coming in for you in love, Pisces? Love, love, love. What's coming in for you in love? Aquarius energy and mercury communication all right so in love i feel like there could be someone um out of nowhere because aquarius is uranus ruled by uranus communicating with you okay there could be someone that out of nowhere communicates with you this aquarius or gemini could be significant i feel here that um in love you are stepping up and being um a very independent a very innovative person like you're, you're stepping up into your true power into your self-sufficiency and your energy is like communicating that to the world and i feel like you're attracting on a whole different level all right i feel here that you're being more free okay you're opening up you are for a lot of you a major message for pisces like i have a Aquarius in my true north node and then in my south node I have Leo so my my job here on this earth is to um in my past life or something maybe I was someone that was very influential or prided myself in being very individualistic uh, a very special person of some sort right and so I in this life it's to let go of the me the being the Leo the grand the royal you know and and being all about me and my ego and and wanting to feel special and getting all this attention and be it more humanitarian okay go away from being this this person that is you know getting all the attention to being part of the group and furthering the group in humanitarian ways right and understanding that everyone is equal and that everyone has um you know this this gift to give to humanity right that everyone has something useful and that i'm not the only one that you know i'm not quite as egotistic as i'm making it seem but that i'm you know that i'm not the only special person okay and so aquarius so i feel here that you're communicating you can have some some communication coming in from someone in aquarius or gemini but something here unexpected and something here may be experimental i feel here that maybe some sort of group oriented um energy here communication about maybe you are pushing yourself to get out into group activities at this time it's important for you to do that maybe you might want to retreat but it's important for you to get out there okay to get out there in regards to love what's coming in for pisces and love scorpio the animal all right be careful not to be in this obsessive energy i feel there's a lot of passion a lot of intimacy here coming in around a lot of secrecy okay i feel here that in regards to love maybe for some of you you come off as this very independent and aloof person but you're actually 
you know, like ponder it and very passionate about a certain person. Maybe there hasn't been communication because that kind of did pop out in the reverse. So I feel here that maybe in love, some of you need to get out of your shell during this energy, okay? Get, get out of your shell and be get more into groups. Get yourself out there again. That's going to be very important for you to meet the person that you want to meet if you haven't already, okay? So you have to get back out there. What's coming in for Pisces in regards? What's coming in for Pisces, period? 1515, as I saw, 1515, 6 6. What's coming up for Pisces? What's coming up for Pisces the rest of this Cancer season? What's coming up for Pisces the rest of this Cancer season? What's coming up for Pisces the rest of this Cancer season? A personal issue reaches resolution. Okay, very Cancer card. Believe in the impossible. Believe in the impossible. The answers you need are coming. Interesting, Gemini. All right, all right. I'm getting some energy because this is Gemini. Okay, Mercury. This is Gemini, the moon in Gemini, the communication, the answers you need are coming. So I feel like someone is going to communicate something to you that you were not expecting or maybe out of the blue, okay? Maybe you didn't believe this was possible, but some issue maybe with a cancer or your home issue or childhood issues, it, it reaches resolution or maybe you clear up some childhood trauma that you weren't expecting and then it, it just attracts so much wonderful things here in your life. But I feel here... Take time to breathe out. Expect powerful change. Yes. Don't feel bad during this cancer season if you're taking the time to slow down, okay? From this cancer moving forward, understand that this is a, the summer eclipse energy here, okay? From this energy, there's going to be powerful change for the next six months of your life, okay? So take a moment to breathe out, all right? Because you are clearing up some things and trust and believe, baby, that after this cancer season that people are kind of retreating and going in, you will have some communication coming up, okay? Certain of this. I almost want to do an extended reading and see, like, what communication is coming up because I feel it. I feel it. All right. Let's see. Let's get, let's get one more. You are good enough. You are good enough. Practical energy. So I feel it's interesting because I feel like for some of us to get into this new energy of getting what we want romantically, first we had to feel like we were good enough. And a lot of you have always been the same, but a lot of you had to get more confidence in yourself, right? Put yourself out there. Put yourself in situations. Overcome adversity for you to really feel like you're good enough. And I feel like you've gotten yourself to this point where you've built yourself up and you've worked really hard and, and you've done some wonderful things for yourself and you deserve it. Now you're like, listen, I've, I've accomplished a lot of things. Like, why don't I? I've always been the same person. I just didn't believe it before. And now that I've accomplished these things, I'm starting to, to, to see it for myself. I am good enough. The more you believe this, the more that you're going to have things attracted to you. Okay, very important. All right, one last card to wrap this up. Someone in your environment, what are they thinking about? Kobe, Kobe, leave the blinds, come here. What is someone in your environment? What's their energy towards you romantically? What's someone's energy towards you in, romantically in the environment? And I'm gonna leave this here because I'm gonna do a love reading. Eternal youth, passion, vitality, newness. There's someone, okay, that is just damn skippy with you. They are, they are smitten with you okay you just bring a new energy a new a new flow of light and it just inspires them it just brings this lightness to their life let's get one more someone's energy towards you who is this person what is this hunter hunter this is what i'm talking about you might not see it but someone is in hunter mode maybe you've been focusing on yourself and you've been laying back and you've been doing you and you haven't been pushing excessively but you've been in a feminine energy of just doing you and and allowing things to come to you and this person is like in hunter mode so i really do believe pisces and i feel this is the energy of this video you're gonna have some communication from someone that you were not expecting okay that you were not expecting pow uranus like out of nowhere i feel like there's someone here that's going to say something to you Okay, and this cancer season is almost breeding that for them. It's motivating them. They're doing some healing on their own to be able to come towards you. But I feel like this person is watching you. Okay, and this person wants to come towards you. So 
We're going to stay tuned and see what the heck that is, but there's going to be some powerful change in someone, all right? And it's because you're doing a lot of healing yourself. Maddened at the bottom of the deck. I feel like this person, you make them feel so many things. Maybe they want a, some sexual release with you. Not only sexual, but you just kind of stir up all these things in them in a good way, all right? All right, Pisces, hope that was helpful. Talk to you soon.